So this is one of those things where I talk about something and I tell you how great something is, and then I follow that quickly by, but you can't really see it. So Aero Video has recently released Gamera The Complete Collection. If you know Gamera, uh, this is a very exciting set and I hope you have it. If you don't know Gamera, I'll tell you a little bit about Gamera. I'm not gonna go through the complete set because it's 12 films that span 30 or 40 years in this set and I don't have that kind of time. You don't have that kind of time, but I'll give you my overall impressions uh, of this Gamera set. So Arrow has put out a lovely set. You may know that Criterion put out a Godzilla set recently that was in this large oversized, won't fit on anybody's shelf, but it's lovely to look at packaging. And that was a pretty wide array of Godzilla films. Well, Arrow has done the same for Gamera now. It's 12 films. I believe it is every Gamera film, at least up to a point. Uh, it starts with Gamera, what is it called? I know it as Gamera the Invincible as it was released in the US, but the original title was Gamera the Giant Monster from 1965. This is a black and white film uh, about this giant turtle, basically, giant prehistoric turtle that is released when people are drilling in the Arctic or something happens in the Arctic and it bursts forth. And it's, it's basically your standard kaiju giant monster movie set in Japan. Um, that movie was retooled for its US release. I think it was released, I wanna say it was released straight to TV, but I'm probably wrong. I think it did play in theaters as Gamera the Invincible. Um, it has a very fun theme song, which was actually released on a 45. And the, uh, this Arrow set includes that as uh, both sides of the single you can listen to. And uh, it concludes, the set concludes, sorry, with uh, Gamera the Brave from 2006. So you're talking about a span of kaiju films that spans multiple decades, multiple visual styles, multiple, you know, things that were in vogue in terms of subject matter and, and, and presentation and, and special effects as well. You're starting with a guy in a suit. You're starting with a rubber suit movie and you're going at least into the era of CGI. These films sort of employ a, a mix of both as they, as they get farther along, but practical effects are, are generally kind of front and center for most of these films. Um, so again, I'm not gonna go through all the movies because we don't have that kind of time. That's, <laughs> somebody else on YouTube has already given an incredibly detailed four hour breakdown of every Gamera film and reviewing them. I'm just gonna review the set. So um, I, what I get are review discs, so I don't actually have the packaging, but I've seen the packaging and it's, it's astounding. You get all of the discs, it's housed in sort of a nice big box and you get a book, you get a comic book, you get a poster, uh, the discs themselves are what I've been looking at and the menus are gorgeous. They have really cool like retro comic-y commercial art style for the camera. Uh, each disc has a one or two movies on them and uh, the menus are gorgeous. They are loaded. These discs are crazy loaded. These give you everything you could possibly want to know about the Gamera series, about kaiju films, about you know aspects of Japanese culture and history, and about the individual movies themselves. Uh, in some cases, you get more than one version of a movie. With the original Gamera film, it was released in Japan, then it was released in America, and they reshot a lot of segments as they would do for like the original Godzilla was the exact same thing. You have uh, some American actors brought in, you have sort of subplots sort of tweaked and changed a little bit, the movie gets streamlined a little bit, and uh, the music is different. And you get to watch these films with their original Japanese dub track or the American International dub tracks that a lot of us grew up watching. Sometimes they will provide you with the, uh, if you're a fan of Mystery Science Theater, you might know the Gamera movies from MST. You get the Sandy Frank TV intros, which is that, you know, you know it, it's that shot of the ocean water and the titles above it with the music. Um, so if there was something that was different about the US version that's presented alongside the Japanese version, you get August Dragon and other uh, Japanese kaiju film scholars doing intros for all the films, doing commentaries for all the films. I cannot stress enough how amazing a set this is. And these movies look phenomenal. I only ever saw the Gamera films in the public domain copies that were kicked around back in the 90s and early 2000s. Um, I think Destroy All Planets was one of them, where they would use old 16 millimeter TV prints for the DVDs or VHS tapes that you might've seen. So they were four by three pan and scan. They looked pretty cruddy. Uh, in a way it was kind of cool to see it that way because that's what it looked like when you first saw it on TV as a kid. But I'm the kind of guy who kind of wants to see the whole picture. Call me crazy. And when you're talking about something, you know, that is shaped like this, being cut down to something like this, you're not really, you're kind of not really seeing the movie. You're not seeing what, you know, it sounds hoity-toity to say what the filmmakers intended when you're talking about a giant flying turtle, but 
films are framed in a certain way to see things, and when they get chopped off like that, you you can barely make out what's going on. So it's it was a breath of fresh air to watch these Gamera films and see them in their entirety. I had not seen the majority of these Gamera films, um, just because I was never a major, major fan, and they were not always that easy to come by. I think as the 80s, 90s rolled on, you were seeing a lot of these get re re released on video by some of the companies that specialized in kaiju and, and Japanese film and, and sci-fi movies, but it was quite a thing to try to get you know all these together in, in, a cop in a version that looked good that maybe had the original Japanese language and not some kind of so-so dub track. Um, the dub tracks are there if you like them for convenience or nostalgia. Uh, new trans, accurate translations uh, in Japanese from the Japanese into English subtitles are there. And really every bit of anything associated with a camera <laughs> that you could possibly imagine is packed onto these discs. So as I said earlier, I tell you all of that to also tell you that this is sold out. So <laughs> I don't know that Era is going, Era is going to repress this. Uh, they did a phenomenal job on this set. Uh, some retailers or e-tailers may still have them. I don't, I haven't checked online myself, but I know Arrow the, themselves doesn't have it. And I think some, most of the major retailers don't have it, but you still may find some people who resell, who may still have some. Uh, unfortunately, you're probably going to start paying a, a tidy premium <laughs> to be able to own a copy of this now. But, uh, if you're a Gamera fan, it is worth certainly more than the list price was for this set. And I, would, I couldn't recommend this highly enough for fans of kaiju films or Godzilla films, especially Gamera films, or people who just like, you know, films about a giant flying turtle that has like road flares shooting out of its holes, so to speak, uh, while it flies through the air. Uh, Gamera the Complete Collection out now from Arrow Video. Uh, I don't say this insultingly at all, but seriously, good luck finding a copy.